Hello, I'm Miss Jody, and I want to welcome you to this class today. Um, I have heard that you are preparing for reconciliation, and I am so very, very happy that you are doing that. I know you have a lot to learn, and you have already learned so much. You've learned that reconciliation is a sacrament. A sacrament is a gift from God. You're learning that reconciliation is about forgiveness, and forgiveness is a gift from God. Today we're going to hear a story. It's a story from the Bible in the book of Genesis, and the name of the story is Joseph and his multicolored coat. Well, the story is about Jacob. Jacob is a man who had a family a very large family. He had many, many sons. In fact, he had 12 sons. One of the sons was named Joseph. He is one of the 12. Joseph was a very, very special child, a very special person. He was a good son. He was a good person. But his brothers jealous of him. The father, Jacob, found that Joseph was a very special child. This made the brothers even more jealous. Jacob gave Joseph a coat, a coat of many colors. This made the brothers even more jealous. Joseph used to have dreams. And in the dreams, he would get messages from God. He would share those messages with the father, Jacob. And this made the brothers even more jealous. They resented him and decided they were going to do something to hurt their brother, Joseph. They made a plan. They decided to sell him into slavery. But they told their father, they ripped up the coat of many colors, and they told their father that Joseph had been eaten by wild animals. When really, they had sold Joseph to be a slave of the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh was a leader. He was like, we would think maybe he was like the governor. He was a leader of many, many people. Joseph was his slave, but Joseph also was a good, kind, very wise person. And Pharaoh became very much attached to Joseph and relied on him for so much. Joseph had more dreams when he was with the Pharaoh, and God would speak to him through the dreams, and the Pharaoh listened to what Joseph said. Joseph told the Pharaoh that God had said there are going to be seven years where the crops are very rich, where there's going to be so much water in the well, and the vineyards are going to have many grapes. There's seven years of good crops, but they will be followed by seven years where nothing grows, the wells will dry up, the vineyards will be dry branches. And so the warning was for the Pharaoh, during those seven years of plenty, harvest the good crops and put them away. Put some of the crops away. Put some of the water away to save for those seven years of famine. That's when people don't have enough to eat. That's when people are starving. And so Pharaoh did that. During those seven years of famine, people were starving everywhere. Their crops were not growing, their wells were dry, and even Jacob's family was starving. And so Jacob's family went to the Pharaoh to ask him for help. Please help us. We're starving. 
As they were approaching the Pharaoh, Joseph saw them. He recognized his brothers after all of those years, and it made him so happy, he even started to cry. There were his brothers. And when they came and they asked the Pharaoh for food, Joseph forgave them for all the evil, hurtful things that they had done. Did Joseph have to do that? Why do you suppose Joseph forgave his brothers for the evil things that they did? Well, really, we know that anytime something happens to us and we have the chance to forgive, that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to forgive. Have you ever had a situation where one of your friends has said, you can't play with me. I don't want you to play with this game, in this game. That hurts your heart, doesn't it? Makes you sad. But your friend says, oh, you know what? I made a mistake. Come, play with me. You have the chance in your heart to say, I forgive you. Yes, I love to play with you. Or have you ever had a time when you know you have done something to hurt another person's feelings? If you go to that person and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Doesn't that make you feel wonderful? It's like a big relief in your heart and a big pressure that's gone. That's what God wants us to do. God wants us to forgive, to forgive others, and to receive forgiveness from our friends or our family. That's what God wants. And part of what we're learning when we're getting ready for reconciliation is how to do that forgiveness. And we're learning God is asking us, come to me, talk to me. I will forgive you. Does this sound familiar to you? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Have you heard that? Yeah, you have. It's in the Lord's Prayer. It's in the Our Father. And what that means is, God, I'm asking you to forgive me, just like I forgive other people. That is in the Lord's Prayer, and that is God's wish for us, that we forgive, we, and that we ask God to forgive us. I'm so excited for you to prepare for the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of forgiveness. And so, as we leave our lesson today, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 